This is just a follow-up to that video I made in response to Mike Wodango's tweet comparing Olympic lifts to medicine ball throws a little over a month ago. He tweeted out my video response to him and now there's some engagement on it. So the original topic was a comparison between Olympic lifts and medicine ball throws and their transferability to sports. To sports, not a specific position of a specific sport. It was a macro view, not a micro view. And another, and frankly a better framing of this question is which of the two training means provides a greater stimulus that will elicit a positive adaptation? Or which of the two means of training better prepares an athlete for the demands of sports. Thinking big picture here, that was the original topic. In full disclosure here, I reached out to Mike offering a debate on this topic. He declined many such cases. Anyways, Rolf Omen, I don't know this guy, but Mike tweets out quotes of him all the time. He says, if Olympic lifts are such a great transfer for sprints and jumps, then all we need to do is get snatch and clean numbers up. And then what? Keep increasing these? Just a complete non sequitur. The response is a straw man of what my video was all about. And that's part of the problem with most of these anti-Olympic lifting people. They can't steel man arguments in favor of Olympic lifts because they don't know the arguments in favor of Olympic lifts. Then Mike says, if one runs 10 meters per second and the snatch is 2 meters per second, how is the snatch going to get you to running 11 meters per second? So a few points to respond here. One, that's not a claim I, nor any serious proponent of Olympic lifts has ever made. Two, my position is if you're already that fast of a sprinter, no weight room or training intervention is going to improve your sprinting speed by one meter per second. Three, disregarding my previous point and just accepting the premise of this question. How is a medicine ball throw going to achieve an improvement in sprinting speed by one meter per second? The premise of this question is pointing out that a snatch is slower than sprinting speed, unaware or ignorant of them being two different tasks, making this point irrelevant anyway. But a medicine ball throw is also significantly slower than sprinting. So according to his own framework, a medicine ball throw is also an inadequate intervention. And four, I don't care care about the transfer to sprints and jumps. I care about which training intervention provides a more beneficial stimulus to elicit a positive adaptation. An improvement in sprints and jumps in a vacuum is not relevant. And then you'd even have to demonstrate that sprints and jumps in isolation correlate to sports performance, which they don't because sports are multifactorial. This has been demonstrated by all of the data analysis from the NFL Combine correlating 40-yard dash and vertical jump to various outcomes in professional careers, including longevity of career, total career earnings, total career accolades, career stats, and many others. I know this because this is part of my thesis to graduate from graduate school. All right, so moving on to the next one. Mike then posts a video of some athlete doing some sort of medicine ball throw and asks, which is more specific to pitching or throwing, a clean or this medicine ball throw? Again, that's not the original topic of the debate, moving the goalpost. And as I made the point in a prior video, med ball throws are not going to provide any unique transfer to pitching in baseball, especially if you're already a pitcher at a high level. Throwing is a good general skill to develop. And that's what medicine ball throws can provide, an opportunity to generally develop the skill of throwing. Throwing defined as propelling something into the air by movement of the arm or hand. There is not a good specificity argument in favor of medicine ball throws. It's still just general training. So go through this Twitter thread on your own if you want. I'm not going to engage in a back and forth on Twitter with a word count limit per tweet, especially since I already offered a full live debate. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.